Looking for the quickest way to format characters in your document? This quick tip shows you three really fast ways to get to the full range of character formatting options in the font dialog box. A document is made up of dozens, hundreds, or thousands of characters. Word allows you to individually format every single character in your document if you're so inclined. Well, this means that you can make your boss's weekly report look like a ransom note if you wanted to. Word allows you to apply many types of character formats, such as bold, italic, underline, or strike through. Many of these formatting options are available on the home tab of the ribbon. If you want to access the full gamut of Word's character formatting power, though, you need to display the font dialog box. I want to show you three really quick ways that you can pull that dialog box into view. All you have to do is select the text that you want to format. And once you do that, then you can right click on that text and choose font from the resulting drop down list. And when you do, the dialog box is displayed. A second way to pull up this dialog box is to select your text and then click the small icon at the bottom right corner of the font group in the home tab of the ribbon. And that displays the same font dialog box. A third and final way is to select your text and then just simply press Ctrl D on the keyboard. Once the font dialog box is visible and you can pull it up using any of these three methods, you can make any formatting changes that you want and they will be applied to your selected text once you go ahead and click on the OK button. Which method should you use to pull up the font dialog box? It doesn't really matter, but you should pick the one that is easiest for you to use. The fact that Word provides three quick ways to display the font dialog box testifies to the importance that this dialog box has when it comes to formatting your document. If you want to be notified when new videos are added to the Word Tips channel, be sure to click the subscribe button just below this video and then click on the bell icon. Thanks for spending a few moments with me today.